we've thrown out the Lord, we've thrown out the Lord, we've thrown out the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. But we've thrown out the truth, and when you've thrown out the truth, violence and hatred spread like gangrene. And we've thrown out the truth of the Son of God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And we're in a, a, a mess because we don't know what the truth is anymore. The media lie, the politicians lie, there's so much fake news around today, and it's because we have lost what the truth is. The truth shall set you free. And what is the truth? The truth is Him, the Son of God. The truth is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. That is the truth. That is the truth that needs to impact your life. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. That is the truth that we've thrown away. That is the truth that we have lost today. We've lost that truth. The truth that He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is the living God, the living Saviour. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. And all the deep, deep love of Jesus, vast and measured, boundless free. Rolling in a mighty ocean in his fullness over me. He's the truth. And the truth will set you free. But if you throw away the truth, then society collapses. Society crumbles. Society breaks. Society fractures. And we're seeing the political fracture. We're seeing politics fracture. There will never ever be a Conservative Party and a Labour Party ever more because politics is fractured. There will always be fractions within pol politics now. Why? Because we've thrown out the truth. The media is full of lies on every hand. Why? Because they've thrown out the truth. The church, even our churches, have thrown out the truth. They no longer want to preach the truth. They don't, want to they don't want to declare the truth. But the truth will set you free. The truth is the gospel. Paul says in Galatians chapter 1, Cursed is anyone who preaches not the gospel. And he is the one who died on the cross and gave his life for you. He is the saviour who shed his blood. And he is the gospel. He is the good news. And that good news is for you. That good news is for you. As he died on that cross. It's for you to taste and see that the Lord is good. Do you like honey? Jesus is like honey, sweet and kind and tender. Honey is sweet and Jesus is sweet. And he wants to sweeten your life up. He wants to give you some saccharine niceness in your life. The sweetness of Jesus put joy in your life, hope in your life, peace in your life, goodness in your life, blessings in your life. That is what Jesus wants to give you right now. Joy and blessing. Peace and hope and joy and comfort. Hiya, David. Good to see you, brother. Love you, bro. Missed you. How you been doing? Missed you, brother. Jeez, I'll nearly finish, bro. Uh, Jesus, you want a cup of drink? Hot oh, chocolate, David. You want to do? Jesus loves you. He loves you so much and he wants to bless you today. He wants to bless your life and comfort you and bless you and encourage you. He wants to take your burdens from you and help you and give you blessings today. You're right, bro.